Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Marshall Willen. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 120 bucks. I repeat, 120 bucks. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black and cream. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is Bluetooth version 5.1. It's IP67, dust, water, and shock resistant. Now you're getting Marshall Signature Sound. You got one two inch full range driver and two passive radiators. So that's gonna give you deep crystal clear sound. Now you got a built-in mic for hands-free speakerphone. You got stack mode. that lets you pair another Marshall Willem speaking together wirelessly. Now the battery life on this is 15 hours on a single charge. It takes three hours to fully charge the speaker. And you got fast charge. 20 minutes of charge will give you three hours worth of playtime. Now you got an app that's available for Android and iOS that let you change your EQ settings. All right, so all of that for 120 bucks, let's see what it is. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer two important questions. Number one, is this speaker really worth 120 bucks? And number two, which is my favorite handheld portable Bluetooth speaker with speakerphone? This or my favorite, the Tribit Stormbox Micro 2. Ladies and gentlemen, spoiler alert, okay? My new favorite portable handheld speaker with speakerphone is the Marshall Willen. Now, I know what some of y'all getting ready to say. <laughs> How you saying that and you didn't even unbox it yet? First things first, shout out to Marshall for sending me the speaker to review, but y'all know I like to give y'all the real reviews. So of course, I went out and bought one already. I've been using this for a couple of days, doing a lot of side-by-side -side testing, and I'm going with the Marshall. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love white my shoes. white shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Marshall Willing, 120 bucks. Two different colors. Let's see, did I miss anything? Marshall Signature Sound. Look, let me say this real quick. The reason why I like this one better than the Tribit, three things. Number one, Marshall Signature Sound. It sounds way better. Number two, the Tribit, 12 hours battery life, 15 hours battery life on the Marshall. And number three, the app, the EQ, okay? Being able to change your EQ settings is so clutch. Now, one more thing I did forget to mention, this is made out of 60% recycled plastic. All right, so this is actually good for the environment. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. Okay, we got a real one today, <laughs> all right? <laughs> we got the Medford knife. Okay, now shout out to my man from Zach Stuff, okay? He always be coming down on me for having these bootleg unboxing knives. This is a real one, okay? Anyway, here we go. Marshall Willen. I like the name also. I right, shout out to Marshall for not following the status quo. Every speaker is a box or a blast. Marshall Willen, the name has class. Okay, here we go. First you get your, this is gonna be USB Type-C to USB-A charging cable. Now look, this is what you're paying for also. Look at the details. Even on the cable, you see it has the ridges. It just looks nice, okay? And I forgot to mention, the Marshall just looks so much better than the Tribit. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, let's see. What else you get? Now, of course, you got your usual books and shit. Let's see. Do we got any troll stickers on this one? Okay, usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. Little poison for the trolls. Yeah, and leave that alone. That's pretty much it. Now, for the speaker itself, I went with the black version. Check this out. Now, on a side note, somebody's gonna ask me about the Bose Flex. That's not really a little portable handheld speaker. The Bose Flex is a lot longer. You can't really put that in your pocket. This is a pocket speaker, and this can also go on your bike because it does have the strap on the back. All right, hashtag, get the strap. Now, one thing I love about the Marshall speakers, the same thing with the Emberton, the look. Okay, the look. Shoes, look at this. This just looks like old school vintage audio equipment. It just screams quality, the black with the brass trim, with the old school knob, which is actually a multifunctional knob. This is volume up, volume down, reverse tracks, skip tracks, playing pause, answering them phone calls. Now on the top, got your Marshall brand in. Watch this, when you power it up. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I don't know if y'all heard that, but it sounds like an actual musical instrument, like a guitar riff. I love that. Okay, that's a nice little feature. Now, when I did the Emberton video, a lot of people was like, oh, how come it makes that sound? If you listen closely, that's an actual musical riff or instrument sound. So I like that. That's attention to detail. Look, you got your battery percentage with LEDs. Okay, you got your Bluetooth pairing button. Okay, you got a mic, USB Type-C charging slot on the back. Again, if you want to put this on your bike, if you want to clip it to your jacket, clip it on the carabiner hook, just like that. Multifunctional strap, and it locks back into place. Okay, in the front, got the nice speaker grill, Marshall Brandon. Everything on this speaker is nice and rugged, water resistant, drop proof, shock proof, everything proof. This is pretty dope. All right, so let me grab a phone. I'm going to pair this up, and then we'll start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, to pair up the speaker, real simple. Once you power it up, it'll automatically be in Bluetooth pairing mode. Go to your phone's Bluetooth menu and select the Marshall Willing. The next thing you want to do is download the Marshall app. Now, this is pretty simple and straightforward. If you want to, you can add more speakers, okay, or add different headphones. It shows you a picture of your speaker. You got your battery percentage. You got EQ presets. So you got Marshall, the fine-tuned Marshall signature sound you know and love. You got push, boosted bass and treble for a heavier sound, and you got voice, enhanced mid-range for clarity when listening to voice-focused content. So three different EQ presets, and on a side note, they make a huge difference. I'm gonna talk to y'all more about that in a minute, but they really work, it's not a gimmick. You got stack mode, if you wanna wirelessly pair another speaker together. You got about and forget device. Now, on the bottom, you also got play and pause, volume up and down. Simple enough. Now, just to recap the buttons, this would be play and pause, okay? It's actual little little knob right there. You push it up for volume up, push it down for volume down, push it forward for, for our forward track, push it back to reverse tracks, push it in once for play and pause, that'll also answer end of phone calls. On the top, I love these little LED lights, and when they're charging up, you'll see it actually charging. You got your Bluetooth pairing button, there's your mic, USB Type-C charging slot, okay? Strap on the back. Now this speaker can be used horizontally or vertically, standing up or flat, inside out, upside down, <laughs> whatever position you wanna rock it, you could rock this. All right, so enough talk, now let's do a little sound test. All right, so I'm gonna start off at max volume and I got the EQ set to Marshall Signature Sound. Now this is important. Make sure you got your headphones on or you watch this video using a quality system. Listen for the clarity. Here we go. Okay, now I'm telling you, even if this mic doesn't do it justice, wait till I do the side by side comparison, this speaker sounds amazing. Okay, I love that Marshall signature sound. It's bright, it's vibrant. You can hear all the separation in the instruments. The bass is rich and clean, but the clarity, I, I love the clarity. Let's try another song.
crazy. Now, I know what you're saying. If that sounds this good, what about two of these paired together? Let's find out. All right, so I got two Marshall Willen speakers paired together. Now, to use the stack feature, it's real simple. All you got to do is go to the first speaker, press the Bluetooth pairing button three times. Go to the second speaker, press the Bluetooth pairing button twice. Wait about five seconds, they'll automatically connect to each other. All right, here we go. Now, on a side note, when I'm playing the music, you're going to see me go like this. And then come back. Basically, I'm putting one speaker all the way behind my head, just so y'all can hear a little separation and hear that both of them are actually connected. Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> trust me, these speakers sound so good. And when you're holding the speaker, you can feel the bass vibrating the speaker. I love it. All right, I literally love these. Let's do a little bit more testing. All right, so now let's test out one of my favorite features of these little portable Bluetooth speakers, speakerphone. Being able to have a speakerphone on deck is clutch. All right, so let me call up this diner real quick. Let's get max volume. Hello, Diner, can I help you? Yeah, hi. Um, what's the address to the diner? It's 11116 Atlantic Avenue. 1116. Okay, no problem. Thanks a lot. Speakerphone on deck. That is so clutch. Now, I like to have these as my travel speakers. So when I'm laying in the bed, using your speakerphone from your phone or using a Bluetooth headset, you can't really roll around. Having this in the bed as a speakerphone is a good look or using it on your computer table, which I'm about to show you how it looks on mine. All right, check this out. Now, when I travel for work, I like to bring a laptop or a tablet and two little speakers like this to have on the table for surround sound. Now, watch how much better this sounds than your laptop or your tablet speakers. <laughs> Perfect for watching videos at work. Drop them just like that. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Stormbox Micro 2 and the Marshall Willen. Now I got two iPhones, same song, same volume, but with the Marshall, you do have an app for EQ settings. So I'm gonna start off with the EQ set to Marshall Signature Sound. All right, so let's start with the tri bit. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah, how many times you knew I was checking for you? I mean, put it on the line, grab the weapon for you. For real, I was front line, I was repping for you. Traveler came by myself, I was stepping for you. All right, here's the marshal. Yo, I got a question for you. Yeah, how many times you knew I was checking for you? I mean, put it on the line, grab the weapon for you. For real, I was front line, I was repping for you. Trapper came by myself, I was stepping for you. Trapper, turn the L. All right, now I know what some of y'all gonna say. It sounds like the tribit might be a little bit louder, but the Marshall is definitely cleaner. But watch this. All right, this is what blew me away in my testing. Now. I got the EQ set to Marshall Signature Sound. Right now, I'm gonna change it over to Push. 
Okay? Now watch the difference. I'm going to start off with the try beat again. Yo, I got a question for you. Yeah. How many times you knew I was checking for you? How many? Put it on the line, grab the weapon for you. For real. I was front line, I was repping for you. Trapping, came by myself, I was stepping for you. Trapping. Now watch the marshal. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah. How many times you knew I was checking for you? How many? Put it on the line, grab the weapon for you. For real. I was front line, I was repping for you. Trapping, came by myself, I was stepping for you. Trapping. Now, it's hard to hear over this microphone. They might sound like they sound about the same, but watch this. Now, I'm going to hold it a little bit closer to the mic. Watch this. Here's the tribe it. Turn the L to a lesson for you. Cash. Turn one night to a blessing for you. You think I do something special for you. But I wouldn't do nothing special unless it's for you. Right. And that's the thing about it. Huh? And I can't sleep at night when I think about it. Yeah. These niggas think they got it, but I really got it. Now watch the marshal. Turn the L to a lesson for you. Cash. Turn one night to a blessing for you. You ain't think I'd do something special for you. But I wouldn't do nothing special unless it's for you. Right. And that's the thing about it. Huh? And I can't sleep at night when I think about it. Yeah. These niggas think they got it, but I really got it. Huh? These niggas think. Look, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> No Bluetooth speaker video is going to do justice to that speaker online. You're going to have to hear it in person. You're going to have to take my word as a Bluetooth speakerologist with a degree in speakerology. Trust me when I tell you, the Marshall, it just sounds cleaner and nicer. Now, don't get me wrong. Both of these sound great. If you're looking for a budget speaker, you want to save some money, you can't go wrong with the Tribit Stormbox Micro 2. This is a win. All right, at 60 bucks, this is a perfect utility speaker. Okay, throw this on your bike, leave it at the store. Outside, who cares? Somebody steals it. You only out 60 bucks. You want to take it to the beach, throw it in the water, throw it in the sand, go crazy. Okay? But if you're looking for quality over quantity, if you're serious about your music, okay, I'm going to say go with the Marshall. You got better battery life. It sounds better. Okay? Not to mention, you got the app that lets you change the EQ settings. And it just looks way better. That's part of the thing that, that I got to talk about. When you got this on your table, okay, you got your Galactus tablet or your fancy laptop, your MacBook, you spent a whole bunch of money on that, you want your setup to look nice. Okay, now if you're going to use this for your speaker at work, which one you think looks better on your work table standing up like this? The Marshall just looks better, it feels better, and trust me, it sounds better. The easiest way to compare this Look at these speakers as steak, okay? Both steaks. Now you can get a steak from Applebee's or you can get a steak from your favorite chop house. Mine's Brooklyn Chop House in our, uh, downtown Manhattan makes the best ribeye steak. Now if you go to Applebee's, that steak is gonna be 30 bucks. You go to Brooklyn Chop House, that same ribeye steak is gonna be 75 bucks. Quality over quantity, okay? Now I'm not knocking the tribe it. This is a great value speaker. But I'm more about quality over quantity. The Marshall is my new favorite. Sound signatures, we gotta talk about that. The same thing when I did a Sony video. You see, the thing about Sony sound signature, it's different from JBL. All right, JBL is more for people that like hip hop music, you like house music, you like music with more highs and mids, more in your face music, go with JBL. Sony, it's a little bit cooler, it's a little bit smoother sound. That's why to me it sounds almost muffled, but that's a sound signature. Sound signatures are important when you're buying speakers. The Marshall sound signature, I love it. Y'all remember when I did the Emberton versus the JBL flip? And y'all know, I'm a JBL fanboy on the low. I still like the Marshall Emberton better. And now I like the Marshall Willen as my new computer speakers. Okay, my little travel computer speakers, my little handheld speakers with speaker phones. I love this, okay? I love the look. Now watch this. I want to put this right by the mic so y'all can hear this. When I turn it on. Now watch when I turn it off. Okay, you get the little LED lights with that sound. And the same thing, when you get to max volume, 
you're gonna hear a little sound. Now, when I did the Edmonton, people was like, oh, I don't like that little sound. Basically, with that sound, let's see if I can do it on this one. It's profit, but I really profit. profit. I done left the town, got it really popping. Popping. Pop oh, matter of fact, shot when I'm really copping. I forgot to test out the actual speakers. Uh, the actual um, <laughs> the um, the buttons. Let's do that real quick. Okay, here we go. Let's try play and pause. That's play. That's pause. Now, if you want to skip to the next song, just like that, you want to go back, press back. Volume down. It's getting lower. Volume up. Press and hold it up. Now let's see if this one still has that sound. Okay, they got rid of that sound. Let's hit pause. Now, with the Emberton, when you reach max volume, you get a little sound that sounds like a guitar riff. People was like, that sound is kind of annoying. I personally liked it, but you don't have that on this one, okay? So no, no max volume sound. All right, so all of the buttons work. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so now let me answer those two questions. Number one, is this speaker really worth 120 bucks? And the answer is yes, worth every penny. I love the look of it, the build quality, the sound quality. You got a speakerphone, you got excellent battery life, and you got an app that lets you change the EQ, and you can pair two of these together wirelessly. Totally worth the price. Next question, which one do I like better, this or the Tribit? I'm going with the Marshall Willen. Now look, the Tribit is a great budget speaker. Okay, this is a perfect utility speaker. Have it on your bike, never bring it inside. Throw it outside in your garage on the floor. Take it to the beach. Who cares if you lose it? When you're washing your car, just let it get all wet and dirty. Who cares? Okay? This is a great utility speaker. Perfect for the kids. But if you're serious about your music, you're serious about the way your speaker looks on your fancy computer table, okay, on your work desktop station, go with the Marshall. It looks better. Okay? You got more battery life. You got that Marshall signature sound. You got an EQ, okay, that you can actually change. But for me, most importantly, it just looks way better. This looks like something you get from the gas station, okay? Typical speaker. This looks like a real <laughs> musical instrument. This looks like kind of like an old school amp. I love it, okay? I love it. Anyway, Marshall Willen. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And next week, I'm going to do the Marshall Emberton 2. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream dances on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes, pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.